Hey everyone, Elle here. So today I wanted to get on and do my massive natural hair empties and mini reviews video. I know I promised you all this a while ago and I was going to combine skincare and makeup in there as well, but it was just way too many products and the video was going to be forever. So we are just going to do natural hair today. So let's get started because I do not want this to be forever. Just by itself, these are three bottles of aloe vera gel that I have used over the past few months. I have two more bottles of stairs. And yeah, aloe vera is really one of my beauty staples for my skin and my hair. So these have been used up. Um, my favorite brand, and I know I've talked about this several, several times um, before, but my favorite brand overall is Fruit of the Earth. I think that this is the best one because it really doesn't have like a lot of additives. It doesn't have like glycerin or like sorbitol or anything like that. It does have um, tetrasodium EDTA. If that is something that you're scared to use, I personally am not. Um, but if you don't want to use it, I would not get this. But this is my favorite. Um, and these two are kind of like dupes of that one, of that brand name. So this is Signature Care, aka Safeway brand aloe vera um and then this is also up and up signature brand aloe vera. and this is up and up is from target so this is the target brand of aloe vera this is 97.7 percent pure this just says aloe vera gel and then this says 100 percent gel i don't know how they say that because this does have some ingredients like this one but you you know for the rv plan you know so anyway, but those are my aloe vera gels that I have used over the past few months. I definitely, top notch, number one in my book. Looking forward to continue using it. Another thing that I have used up a couple of bottles of are the Oyen Handmade Ginger Mint Co-Washes. Um, these are currently my favorite co-washes to use. So I have another bottle that's almost gone upstairs. I'm probably going to try to bang out a little bit more of that one. Um, but these are totally gone and this is a definite rebuy for me. Um, this really actually kind of replaced my Diva Curl um, Decadence No Poo um, just because I love these so much and it's black owned. So definite staple. I believe I have a full review on this. So I'm going to, if I have a full review on any of these products, I'm going to leave it in the details so you can appreciate that. And I'm also going to Mute my phone. Oil and hair do my boo, my boo. Um, yeah, so this is the huge bottle. I think I got this during Black Friday. It's 33.8 ounces. I've done several reviews of this product. Um, I talk about it in a very glowing way a lot of the time. It is wonderful. It is gorgeous. It smells great. Um, definitely one of my favorites. Definitely a rebuy for me. The only reason why I haven't re-upped this one yet is because I'm waiting for a sale and I also have two big bottles of Alakay Naturals leaving right now. So I don't need this, but I'm definitely going to get more because it's my babe. Up next, another bay, um, Blue Eco Styler. So it actually took me probably like a year to use up this bottle or jar. This is the, what size is this one? I don't even know. I think the ounces came off. The big one. What is it? 24 ounces, I think. I know it's more than 16. But the blue Eco Styler is my absolute favorite. I'm not a huge fan of the Eco Stylers, like the crystal um, and the ones that have a lot of hold. I like the ones that have a little less hold. So this is really nice. Um, this is actually what's in my hair now because I have another jar of it. And yeah, this definitely is another staple for me. I started using this years ago and I'm going to keep on using it. Next, um, from Maintain, this is from Dollar Curl Club. They're repairing hair mask. Um, I actually don't think I've reviewed this one on its own, so I wanted to go over it a little bit more. So the ingredients are great, like everything else I have from Dollar Curl Club, really awesome. Um, nothing like funky in here. Um, olive oil, green tea leaf extract, aloe vera gel, castor seed oil. Hydrolyzed meat protein is in this, so if you are protein sensitive, be careful with using this one. Um, I really do think that this is a great conditioner. However, I did prefer their hydrating conditioner to this one um, just because I felt like this was a little it kind of made my hair feel a little bit more protein heavy than I wanted it to be I, I like my hair to feel a little bit more soft after I DC it so I probably would not get this one again but get the hydrating conditioner again which I guess I threw away that bottle um, but 
that one would be the one I got, but that one's gone too. And I think I talked about that in my detangling conditioner video, which might be why I threw it away. Up next, I have a gel that I've used on and off for a few years, but it's not really like something that I'm like, oh my God, I love so much. It's a staple for me, but I always come back to it. It's like, it's like an X that was okay, but they're like, weren't like amazing. But like when you're bored, you're like, all right, you're like, yeah, I'll go back for a time. Um, so this is their Curly Q Natural Curl Maker. It has sweet almond oil and shea butter in it. It does have glycerin, but it's really low on the list. Um, I think that this is really important to note. Um, the last video I did when I was talking about ingredients um, in things, and I think I mentioned glycerin and how I don't really like to use glycerin. Um, and someone did mention the how the ingredients work together and also the order of the ingredients and the amount is in each product. Absolutely correct. Absolutely right. Um, I know how my hair acts with products that have glycerin. That's the only reason why I say that about glycerin. Like I've done an entire experiment and I've probably used over like 200 hair products and I know kind of how my hair reacts. So that's what I'm saying about that. But this one, glycerin is lower on the list. So it's not really a huge deal to me. After the first five ingredients, I don't really care that much. Um, but this one is cool. I think that it's sometimes bratty, which is why it's not a staple for me because I want my staples to work for me all the time. Like sometimes I've used this and depending on what I pair it with, um, it can be a little flaky and that's even like after I have cleansed my hair. So that makes it not like a total holy grail for me, but you can get it from Ulta. Like if there's a 20% off sale and there's really nothing else I want, I might pick this up. It is kind of similar to Kiss My Face Upper Management Gel, but unfortunately it is not the bay that Kiss My Face was, unfortunately again. Um, but I really, I like it. It's cool. It's, it's not really like crunchy. It's a kid's gel actually, which is so funny. It's like fairy dust, but I'm, I'm using it with my grown ass. Um, so that's a good one. It's good. It's good. And speaking of, speak of the devil, kiss my face upper management gel. I actually have one more bottle of this left and I'm like saving it and like guarding it with my life. I'm probably going to use it like for a wedding or something like that. Maybe my wedding if I ever get married because <laughs> I just love this gel so much and I'm so sad that they changed the ingredients. We don't need to dwell on this. We're not gonna dwell on this today. But, this is an empty. I, this is like my second to last bottle. Bug to you. Camille Rose Sweet Puddin Mandarin Hair Buttercream. Uh, okay, so this one does have um, a water soluble cone in it and trimethicone, but it's phenyl trimethicone so that should be water soluble too. Um, but this is actually like one of my least favorite Camille Rose products. I'm not going to lie. I think it smells kind of like a relaxer. Um, it does moisturize your hair. It was good for moisturizing my buns. I just think that there are other Camille Rose products that I love so much more that I don't need to get this one again, but it was nice to try. Um, it's very, very thick. It's like, it's like one of those thick, like kids hairdressing creams that your mom used when she was like pulling, doing your braids like back in the day. So I think that's why it's kind of got that old school vibe. Um, I just like other things better. All right, now we have Kemet Biologics Amla and Olive Heavy Cream. Kemet is one of my favorite natural hair brands for really, really moisturizing products. If you have dry hair, I always recommend people try out Kemet. Um, however, this product is probably, like the Camille Rose, my least favorite Kemet product. I prefer the, um, burdock root detangling is it detangling i don't know the burdock root buttercream or the um cocoa tree detangling ghee to this um just because th they're a little bit lighter i like how they smell a little bit more um this has more of like a lemony smell kind of like pledge but the ingredients are excellent it has lots of like ayurvedic um oils and or extracts in it msm is in here it's a very moisturizing if you have um if your hair really really likes thick butters things like that, I would totally pick this up. It's just not my favorite. Going on, okay, Alakay Naturals Moisturizing Hair Perfume. This is the two ounce, this is vanilla. Let me tell y'all how much I love this stuff and how I need them to come out with it in a 16 ounce bottle because this is like gone too soon for me. Um, I use this pretty much every day. It's a mixture of aloe vera juice and just oils and fragrance. And it, so it's like a hair perfume and a hair moisturizer and a hair refresher all in one. It's just like the bomb.com and I freaking love it. Um, I'm probably 
not going to order this right away just because I feel like I would need to order like 10 of these to really get the amount I want. Um, so next time I place an allocate order um, when they have a sale, I'll definitely re-up on a few of these, but I don't think I'm going to order it by itself just because I have a few other um, hair refreshers that I really like at the moment. But this is amazing. If you place an order on Allocate site, I highly, highly, highly recommend picking this up. Next, I have the Clairol Professional Eye Thrive Keratin Rescue Split In Repair with Panthenol. I think I've talked about this in a hit or miss video before. It's a hit, but it's not amazing. It has a lot of slip, but it, dimethicone is also the second ingredient, so I expect it to have a lot of slip. Um, I don't really know how much repairing it is doing because I actually don't see keratin on the ingredients list, and hydrolyzed silk is the last ingredient and hydrolyzed silk is actually more of like a moisturizing protein rather than a repairing protein. So I would not get this again. Um, but it was cool. It was only like five ounces. I think, I think I got this in like an influencer box. I don't know. Up next, um, Suave Essentials Tropical Coconut Um, so I definitely went over these in my detangling conditioner video. I use these all the time. This is one of my favorite detangling conditioners. Definitely the most economical one that I use and my favorite out of those at, and out of all like the VO5s, all those like the ones that are like the cheapy conditioners. This is my big and yeah, so this is two bottles. I have another bottle that's fresh upstairs in my shower. Ready to go. Ready to go. Um, all right, next, Everyday Coconut Hair and Body Lotion. This is the Coconut Strawberry. I do use this on my hair and my body. Um, the ingredients are wonderful. This is also a black-owned brand. It's by Alafia. Um, really, really great ingredients. Very natural. Nothing really funky in here. Really just hibiscus extract, coconut oil, satiro alcohol, beef, um, behentrimonium chloride, steric acid, and it's just great. I have two more bottles of this upstairs. It's very, very inexpensive for the amount you get. 16 ounces, and this is like for babies. <laughs> this is like 16 ounces, and I think it's less than like $10, and I just get it from Mom's Organic Market, and I freaking love it. I, I just love it. So yeah, definitely rebuy, boom, holla. Next up, Grow It Girl. Um, the 100% natural treatment to promote healthy hair growth. So this is a mixture of aloe vera juice, rosemary, and rose, right? And to be honest, like this is freaking awesome. I really love this. Um, the only reason why I haven't gotten it, again, it's by Mimi, um, is because I got it from Urban Outfitters and um, I just got it in the store. This is about $18 and I haven't seen it in any other Urban Outfitters um, since I got it and I really don't feel like ordering it, but I totally would get it again if I saw it in the store. Like if I see this in the store, like I'm picking it up. It's, it's good. And you can also, because of the ingredients, the ingredients are all natural, you can spray it on your face too. So it's like a really nice like face refresher for the middle of the day. You want some moisture. Um, next I have Camille Rose Latte Define from the Leave-In Collection. This is my favorite from the Leave-In Collection. I don't necessarily um, love the entire leave-in collection just because I like creamier products and this is like the cream. And I really love this one. It smells really good. It has a great scent to it. Um, really don't have a lot to say about it. I do think it could be a little bit more moisturizing, but when I see this in the store, a lot of the time I do pick it up. I have another bottle in the shower that's also almost gone and I'll probably end up getting it again just because you can get this at Target and I think they're going to sell it at Sally Beauty Supply as well. Really good. Next, um, the Atai Natural Products Caramel Deep Reconstructing Treatment. This was actually kind of like one of the most disappointing um, treatments that I really wanted to try for years and I ended up trying it and I kind of felt like lackluster about it. It wasn't as like nourishing as I thought it would be because it has like honey, um, bananas, molasses in there, ACV. And I really thought, maybe I just thought it was like supposed to be something else. Maybe I just thought it would be more conditioning, more moisturizing, but it is a deep reconstructing treatment. So your hair does feel strong afterwards. Um, I paid like 20 bucks for this, I think, at like a random beauty supply store, um, but I wouldn't get it again. Next, we have the Dew Mousse Def. Their texture foam, we've talked about this. There is a whole review on this. 
Um, no, I wouldn't get it again just because it wasn't, it didn't have enough hold for me. It was really, really light. And just the way I drive, I don't think it works with my hair routine. Um, even the owner was telling me how to use it, um, on my video, leaving comments, um, which is totally fine. But just the things like she was, she was like, well, you have to do this and you have to do this and you have to do this. I don't think that I need to change my routine for a hair product. A hair product is supposed to work for my routine. So therefore I would not get it again. Next we have Uncle Funky's daughter Defunk, their hair refreshing tonic. I believe I got this from Target. Um, it has castor oil, chamomile, lavender, hops, lemon balm, rosemary. Um, I would definitely get this again. I don't know why I haven't gotten it. I don't think I've seen this at Target lately though. I don't think I've seen this one. Um, I know they have like the curly magic and stuff, but I haven't seen Defunk in stock lately. So I'm going to have to look for it because I did like this. I did. I like the way it smells too. Mm -hmm. It has like a nice clean smell. It reminds me of that Jean, Jean, Jean Latte or whatever, that perfume you used to wear when you were a little girl. That one. Last but certainly not least, I have the Curls Blueberry Bliss Twist and Shout Cream. Say that five times fast. Um, the, I only had a little sample of this, but I actually really did like it. It was nice. It was moisturizing. It has really good extracts in here. A lot of nourishing oils for your hair. Um, however, it's just not a priority for me to buy right now just because I have so many other leave-ins that are my staples. But I would definitely use this um, if you want to give it a try. Or because it's supposed to be a twist cream, um, give you like a silky defined twist out. If you do a lot of twist outs, I definitely recommend checking this product out. So I think that is pretty much it. And that was a lot to go over. So if you have any questions about any of those products, please leave them in the comments. Please let me know and I will do my best to address them. Um, just a quick note, I know we talked about the Camille Rose Around the World collection and me reviewing that. I have not seen it in stores yet. I went to two of my Sally stores um, the other day and it wasn't in stock, so I'll keep trying to find it. But if I can't find it, I don't know. Um, so, yep, thank you. Um, so if you guys have seen it in Sally, please let me know. And that's pretty much it. So anytime you need anything, anytime you have a question, definitely holler at me on social media on IG, Duke Black, on Twitter, Elevate108, and also on my Facebook. You know, the official name of the channel is Elevate Now. Quest for the Perfect Curl doesn't really exist. Um, so, yep, come on down and holler at me. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.